I'm gonna tell you right now, this sucks. So, um, I'm in Missouri, uh, because my uncle passed away, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this. So, uh, last week, I would say my grandfather got the call that my uncle was in the hospital, he collapsed outside of a gas station, walking back to his truck. Uh, I'm thinking he had a heart attack. Either way, he had a heart attack, and, um, he collapsed. He was rushed to the hospital. They, uh, they, they, uh, did a lot of stuff. They were starting to get him stable. He was starting to do good. And then he just, he just went down hell fast. So, that Friday, or, well, actually Thursday night, I believe, my, uh, grandfather said, like, get your stuff packed. Like, like, can't bring a whole lot. Um, just pack light. And, uh, so I did. Well, with that being said, <clears throat> we got there. I can't remember what, was not, what time it was, but we got there. And, uh, once they got in there, like, my grandfather, my grandmother, my mother, and my sister. Once, uh, my grandmother came back out, and I just got the call that, you know, he had, he had passed away once. He knew his baby brother was there and heard his voice. He knew he could finally let go. And that's what he was waiting on. He was waiting on for his baby brother. So my grandfather seeing us out of the uh out of the brothers. And um that's what he was waiting on. And I mean, you know it just sucks because I just gotten over cancer and I was finally able to walk again. And I didn't get to really see him much the entire trip. I was up here when I was wheelchair bound because I was wheelchair bound. Because their house um, is set up on a slab because they have a basement. And there was no way in hell I was getting up those stairs. Not to mention, I think their door is much narrower, narrower than the one at my house in Louisiana. And then, like, the hotel doors. And, uh... Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't even go to my Aunt Bobby's because she has stairs and her door is narrow as well. But it sucks because you didn't get to see me like doing a lot better, she cancer free and all that. And then I came going completely downhill. I just, it hurts, it honestly hurts. I didn't go into the hospital one because I, uh, I don't like hospitals, and my grandfather says it's honestly good that you didn't go in there because he looked bad, like, he looked really bad. He had black around his eyes, uh, I think they said he was swollen puppies, I know his legs were swollen and whatnot, but, um, yeah, and today's his funeral. I would have went, but I woke up feeling like absolute dog ass, dog shit. Um, my stomach was starting, and I think that was due to the nerves, um, because my nerves get really bad, uh, especially when somebody dies, and then, um, I think I'm also getting, like, a cold or something, I'm not gonna make it out to be like, oh, I'm dying, and no, it's just probably a cold, because you have to understand, I'm going from the temperatures in Louisiana, which are usually, during the day, is about the high 70s, mid to high 70s, down to, up here where it's generally cold, it get down into the low 40s, high 50s, sometimes get down into the 30s at night. So I think that screwed with that. And plus it being spring, my sinuses, um, my allergies act up, so it's like, ugh. which uh, my family I understand why they didn't come. <clears throat> plus, uh, I don't, like, if I am getting sick, I don't want to get my great-grandparents sick because I know their immune system <laughs> really isn't the best, uh, honestly. Um, because they're well in their 90s. And then, yeah. But it's just crazy how one minute a person could be with us and the next minute they're gone. It, it, it happens that quick. It's that quick. 
So I think a lesson to be learned here, and this really is a lesson, you should know this by your heart, but the lesson to be learned here is to spend as much time with your loved ones as you can. Because time is precious, and they can be here one minute and call in the next. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.